Hi guys and welcome to the IM Katowice 2024 tournament held in Poland. We have a very interesting game in between the two pro players, this time from the international scene. So let me just start by introducing the players to you guys as we have spawning here in the lower left in the red. It is Scarlet from Canada and her opponent spawning here in the upper right from Poland. It is Spirit. So from his homeland, Spirit is playing here versus a very skilled Zerg player, one of my favorite players here and also a lot of you guys really like to watch her replays as I saw on the channel. So we have Scarlet here with her Zerg and the Terran here in the upper right part is spawning in on ASL LQ1. So let's see what exactly is going to happen here, what the build order is going to be from both players as we have Scarlet go for a fast expansion build order. We can see the production tab here in the upper right part. Some SCVs are still getting produced and a very greedy gameplay here for Spirit as he's also going for a fast expansion. So he's feeling very, very confident. I believe he has studied the replace from Scarlet. So he's heading straight, fast expansion and only now he's going for the uh, barracks. So yeah, the Overlord is out here for Scarlet. Her gas is also getting produced, her spawning pool as well. So pretty standard stuff here for the Zerg. Just a small difference here for the pro, for the Terran as he's going for a fast expansion build order with double gas. So very soon we might see some Reapers for him. Let's see what the strategy from Scarlet is going to be. Is she going to try some Zerglings early harassment with some Zerglings, some Hydralisk? Lurkers could be a possibility. We're about to find out as her overall is slowly but steadily closing in forward towards Spirit. There is a Scouts from Spirit and let's see. As we're closing in towards the two minute mark, it might be another expansion very soon here for Scarlet. As the first drone are getting transferred here towards the expansion point, the first screen will also be out very soon. As the other drone is very likely going to be going to the next expansion point here into this location. So around the two minute and 20 second mark, I believe Scarlet is indeed going to be taking her second exp expansion there it is some queens are still getting produced we see now even a factory for spirit so pretty standard stuff and the satellite is also getting upgraded here for the command center so yeah some mules are getting gathered so pretty standard stuff no harassment early on scarlet is also preparing her macro game adding more and more of those hatcheries and let's see when exactly or if she, she's going to be going for her tier 2 speed is also being done here for the zerglings as the first zerglings are actually moving forward no bunker here for spirit really exposed expansion for him as some zerglings might get taken out even some scvs might get taken out here so two already have fallen the reaper is here to kill off the zerglings but some economic damage has already been done to scvs for four zerglings some mining time has been lost here as well so interesting stuff here or spirit as he's leaving this expansion pretty much exposed only one reaper is out and yeah let's see what this reaper can do i believe not that much given the fact that there are some queens out already here spreading the creep and yeah the reaper is going to be end up very easily let's check still tier one here for scarlet and yeah her expansion also has finished here so very soon she might take this other point as spirit is still roaming around still checking the map for any other expansions or hidden hatcheries yeah hellion is the chosen here for spirit as he's moving forward of course to snap some of those drones but yeah so many queens some zerglings on the ground let's see what exactly he can do with those hellions as slowly but sadly we will pass the fifth minute mark however the hellions getting a little bit of surrounded but in the end they are able to escape nice micro here by spirit same can be said here for Skull, but no, actually she is losing more and more of those Zerglings. So a great counter towards the Zerglings for Spirit with the Hellions, as I believe he might go for the other expansion point, but he has called it very fast to react with her Queens as she's spreading the Queens all over the map. Just to have that defense against the Hellions, and one Hellion might even fall here. So yes, yeah, Scarlet very nicely defending this. Let's check the Terran once again, going for his second expansion here as well even adding a banshee so very soon he will try to harass scarlet even more and yeah more and more hellions are getting produced here for the 
or spirit as soon is very likely going to be going into the mineral line from Scarlet. There's also many Helens here for him, around 8. And yes, indeed, very soon we also see Banshee Cloak being finished. I believe he's going to try a double attack with the Helens and with the Banshee very soon. And let's see where this is going to get him, but Queens are here too react to intervene against the Hellions and yeah where is that Banshee still searching for it on the minimap yeah Spirit perhaps is going to repair some of those Hellions also a nice move by him as he's going to come back to repair those Hellions and there are the Banshees out let's see what he can do with those Banshees I believe the target is going to be this location but there is a spore out there are some evolution chambers here for Scarlet, as you can see. We are going into some Hydralisk for her. So Hydralisk is going to be the unit of choosement here for Scarlet as the Hellens once again move out. Just to snap some of the query eggs on the ground. But yeah, very hard for Spirit to move forward against so, so many queens as the creep is getting uh, replenished here at the same time uh, Scarlet has another expansion here so four bases for her and she's droning up very very nicely 74 73 drones hold on some action here is happening as four drones have already been killed here by those benches so a nice move by Spirit the Spore is now defending all of those drones but the damage is already been done as some units have fallen here five drones already have fallen even one queen might get sniped very soon so nice stuff here by Spirit with his Benches as he's moving now out, so very good stuff by him. Five kills and one queen has been sniped, so very, very nicely executed by the Polish player. And yeah, let's see if the queens will be ready to take out one banshee or two. We're about to find out as the heavens are still in position, so a good harassment. I believe another great harassment would have been to go straight into those benches without Hellions. We've seen how much damage they can do against the economy from the Zerg, so mass benches could be an option as we see. We saw actually Maru do this versus a Zerg and it went out pretty pretty well for him as he then later on transitioned into mass mech versus a Zerg. We don't see that from Spirit, he's going into mass bio, so we have Medivax with Marines on the ground, some tanks just to give cover towards the infantry and right now all of those upgrades are going to get finished, so very soon we are going to be seeing pretty much a siege into, I believe, the newly established bases here from Scarlet. And yes, Scarlet now going for her Hydras. But she needs to hurry up, of course, as the Marines are coming in. In come the Hydras here for Scarlet. Scan goes out. Only one tank, actually two tanks here for the Terran, but he has to hurry up. So, so many uh, Hydras here for Scarlet. She might transition into some Lurkers. Lurkers, of course, will be perfect against so much bio here from the Terran as we're closing in slowly but steadily towards the 10 minute mark we might see some drops happening now from the Terran versus Scarlet so she needs to be careful lots and lots of Hydras for her looks like this seems to be the new meta from the Zergs versus the Terran massive amounts of Hydras and we can also see the upgrades for both players but hold on we actually have a move out here we do have Hellbats in the front more tankier unit and this expansion seems to fall very soon for uh, Scarlet. At the same time, we have a drop happening here, but Scarlet very quickly to react with her Hydra's on the ground. At the same time, a great thunder now being used. And all of those Hellbats have pretty much exposed her. So much damage is now being taken by the Terran. Another great thunder here for Scarlet as she's moving forward and she's being able to kill all of those units. So, yeah, losing some drones as a successful drop into the main here from Scarlet. So her lair, her lair might get taken out gas is being targeted interesting enough and now finally he is actually going to attack the spawning pool and yeah he has to retreat as in comes Scarlet with her Hydras once again and she might intervene here and snap those two medivacs a very smart move by her nicely done killing all of those marines into the medivac so a huge blow here versus spirit as spirit has done some damage some economy damage but in the end the main is still alive and now Scarlet on the move out, but she's getting intercepted with some Banshees, so she needs some Overseers very soon. And yeah, let's have a look what exactly the next steps are going to be here. As she's slowly but steadily moving forward with her units, she's of course almost maxed out. Same can be said here over by the Terran as well, as we see an engagement here in the upper part. 
some units are getting of course now intervened but we will be like I see a regroup here by Scarlet in the middle of the map yes indeed with the Zerglings with the Hydros in the fr in the front as she's moving now forward but there's so many spare tanks so she's going to take so much splash damage and uh, Terran will of course hold his ground some fungus don't really get any good connections now finally some Marines are getting targeted but so much splash damage here against Scarlet I don't think she's going to remain here so a little bit of a bad move by her as even the CVs would have been pulled so the tanks in the back getting so so many kills for Spirit as in the end Scarlet has to retreat of course with her Hydlisk and with her Infested perhaps some banings would have been a good idea for her even some drops perhaps a Nidus connection would also be really nice into the expansion point as more and more units are getting thrown out by her and still Hydlisk with Infestors backed up by some very soon to be Zerlings. It's actually mass hiders here for Scarlet. A very interesting strategy here by her. At the same time she's also keeps on expanding all over the map. Taking gas here and yeah let's see if she's still going to be staying into Hydra's or if she's going to transition into some other units as the Heron as well is taking here his gold base in the middle of the map. Yeah, good map control here by Scarlet as she keep, keeps on spreading more and more of that creep. And this one base already taking quite some damage to command center with four. Same time we have a counter attack with a small group of marines into this location. And yeah, same time once again marines here. So Scarlet will have to retreat a little bit to take care of this as the hatchery is taking quite some damage. But in the end of course this will be fend off by Scarlet really really nicely. So yeah, let's have a look what the next steps are going to be here into this game. Scarlet on the mobile, she really wants to snap of course this expansion, but the tank is nicely placed by Spirit on the high ground. And yeah, small counter attacks here by the turn into this location. And let's see what is going to happen here. Scarlet of course not at mobile with the high risk of course, some banings with some Zerglings would have been much more better, but Again, great fungus or if this is her tactics of course fungus with the hydrus can now great torpedoes here from the vipers against all of those units and the hydrus will of course be able to snipe all of the important units here from the terrain so nicely done here by scarlet actually it's called abduct and not torpedo so sorry about this one so yeah still great pickups here by scarlet but as you can see as on the supply block still both players pretty much on the same uh, amount of supply and we actually see a transition into some ultralisk so more tankier unit for scarlet here in the front as she is moving out with her ultralisk in the front but the tank is nicely being placed however reinforcements are coming in so very hard position here for scarlet to attack as she's moving out with her unity and she might get a good flank against all of those marines she just needs to be careful and let's have a look what the next steps are going to be she's actually moving forward so the Terran not that much mobile as the Ultra is in the front. Reinforcements are pulling forward, some units will fall here. But yeah, all of those units in the back will be intercepted with some Ultra Risk. So she's buying great time to attack one of the expansion points here from the Terran. So lots and lots of damage being taken by the Terran, but at the same time Scarlet also losing some important units. So in the end, not that much has been done. The expansion are still staying here alive. Many kills for those tanks. And yeah, some Zorgans have now been added. I believe she's going to transition, yes, indeed, into some banings very soon. As the Ultra is also very, very hurt for her. So, reinforcements are pulling forward, but she needs those banings pretty much on the ground just to roll forward, just to do as much splash damage as possible. Once again, great fungus here by her, catching all of those Marines. But still, the tanks in the back are not being touched. So those are of course the real damage dealers and the medivacs are also nicely healing the units. But now there's so so many Zerglings, so so many Banings alive here for Scarlet. Even the reinforcements are pulling forward. Some fungus with some Banings could be very very deadly here against the Terran. Yeah, pretty much great control for Scarlet as she's moving now forward. The Zerglings are straight in the front, the Banings are rolling forward. Lots and lots of flash damage. And let's have a look if she's going to be able to Real damage indeed, the brain is getting some great connections, but still Spirit holds his ground and the tanks once again aren't being touched in the back. We see her even expand here into this location, so pretty much three fourths of the map is pretty much in control here for Scarlet as she has so so many expansions and 
Yeah, let's have a look. What exactly is she going to be doing? Transitioning to perhaps some other units. We actually have some corruptors in the air, so this could be some guardians for her. Actually, broodlords in stock of two. And yes, indeed, there it is. Broodlords for Scarlet. This is her option. As the ultras didn't really work that well, but there are ghosts on the ground for the spirits, so he could snipe all of those broodlords. But he has to, of course, hurry up at the same time he's countering this one expansion. And at the same time he's moving forward against another expansion, the gold base, the important gold base here for Scarlet has been snapped and Spirit with some great moves here, dealing great damage against the economy with just one medivac, sniping unit after unit, sniping drone after drone, at the same time his defense is old but now we do have those bloods in here and there is no anti-air for the Terran as he's going to be able to take so much damage, the income to Burros, the ghosts on the ground are sniping as much as they can. But there's so much here for Scarlet, even if Fungal getting some good connections. But yeah, she has to hurry up, of course, now that the Terran will transition into some anti-air, we'll get out some tours and some Vikings are getting produced. So what is going to be her next weapons of choosing here? There's some harassment is happening here for Spirit. Let's have a look at the worker count. Scarlet actually with less workers, 10 less workers here than a Terran. So it looks like the Terran is going to be able to make a comeback. So she finally is transitioning to mass Zerglings. Now all of a sudden mass Zerglings with Bainings, they're going to work out for her as she's pulling forward with massive amounts of Zerglings attacking on two bases. With the Brutus when the Zerglings should be able to take her out of this base. Backed up by the Hydras. Let's have a look what those Brutus are going to be doing. Taking of course out the infantry from the Terran. And of course now targeting the important gold base at the same time a small attack here but the real action is of course happening here into this location as the good will be able to take out so so many of those uh, SCVs at the same time getting snapped by the ghosts the reinforcements are nicely getting flanked here by Scarlet so more and more damage is being taken at the same time she's moving out with her Zerglings with her Bainings is it going to be enough as so so much damage is being able to take in at the same time good connections here with all of those investors and the base has fallen, not only that, but 31 SCVs have been killed here into this location by Scarlet, so nice job by her attacking up to two points. And now the floodgates are pretty much open as the Zerglings will be able to move forward. So but all of a sudden Scarlet is transitioning to Zerglings with Bainings and it's working out very, very well. Of course, they're being backed up by the Brutals in the air. As more and more damage is being taken here by the Terran as he has lost 33 workers. So all of a sudden the worker count has changed into favor for Scarlet. And she looks like she's going to be able to overrun the Terran very soon as her economy is very very strong. Let's have a look, another great fungal, even Parasity Bomb has been used now. The Terran still holds on, still fights very very strong, but let's have a look how long is this game going to be. Well, this expansion is very very much exposed, I believe it could be the next targeting point here from Scarlet. She's moving forward with her zone, so yeah, sadly here for Spirit. There are no defenses here, just the planetary fortress dealing splash damage, but in the end it will be of course taking out the SCVs, try to repair it, doing a great job. But yeah, it has been taken out and with that nine SCVs has also been taken out. Yeah, the Terran still has a very scary army here. Actually more supply of an army here versus Scarlet, so he could still win this game. We see Maru getting great comebacks against the Zerg, so still a scary arm here for uh, Spirit, but his economy has of course suffered, and yeah, there's still Broodlords in the air, not that many, but still a good force with five Broodlords, as they are of course great versus the infantry, and now we have so, so many beings, so, so many Zergans on the ground, and slowly but steadily we see Spirit move out with his tour, with his Marines, and let's have a look, we will try of course to defend this expansion point into this location and at the same time we have a small counter here for Scarlet just with a couple of Zerglings she should be able to take out quite a large number of those SCVs exposed SCVs a very easy way for her to move forward and 20 SCVs all of a sudden have been killed I believe this has been a great connection here into this location so all of a sudden 38 workers have been sniped for Scarlet and now she's going straight for this expansion point once again she's vomiting onto this one planetary fortress so yeah spirit is coming back but just a small amount of zerglings dealing so much damage into this location as the scvs will also get targeted here so 
Master of Hereby Scarlet, some kind of smile gets uh, sacrificed here into this location as 30 more workers have died for the Terran. Yes, Scarlet now pretty much in control, even those two zergers in the high ground dealing the gas and some units have been left behind here for Spirit as he might get flanked very soon by Scarlet. So yeah, base is all over the place for Scarlet as she now has those paintings as she's rolling forward with the zergers in the front. The paintings are in the back, Spirit space is pretty much exposed, he has to bring back the reinforcements. And those zergers are still alive here, dealing more and more damage at the same time the Bulldogs are in the back. So the real action is of course happening here, the Bainings might get some good connections here, do great connections here, they are still rolling forward, more and more splash damage being taken here by Spirit, as more and more of those units are getting taken out, good defense here for Spirit, but slowly but steadily he's losing more and more of his units, and all of a sudden Scarlet has the double amount of supply here versus the Spirit, some units have to be called, but in the end even the Ghosts will be very likely be taken out very soon as still the Zerglings are dealing damage here in the upper part so yes yeah, Scarlet now with a higher amount of an army she might once again target this expansion point into this location and let's have a look she still has those plays in the family of course there's the GG from Spirit as he's realizing that this game would have been lost only 76 supply 38 workers a great job here by Scarlet in the end once again Zerglings with Banings have won her the game. Let's jump straight into game number two very soon as it is loading. So, yeah, here we go. Game number two versus Scarlet and Spirit on ASL Solaris. Very interesting name for this game. <laughs> so let's have a look in the upper right part in the blue. It is Spirit and her opponent. His opponent actually in the lower left in the red. It is Scarlet. So yeah, Canada versus um, Poland 1 to 0 for Scarlet. I don't know how to update the the score here, so sorry about this one. We have a four spawning location map. Let's have a look if this time Scarlet is going to be going straight into Bainings with Zorgans. We've seen it. How good it can be. So yeah, it was pretty interesting, but I believe still Bainings with Zorgans, the greatest counter against the Marines on the ground. Hydros with uh, those infestors are a very interesting idea with fungus and hydros yeah but in the end she of course transitioned into uh, swirling sweet banings and I believe that in the end has brought her the game let's not forget the brood lots of course in the air a great defense by spirit but in the end yeah, there was just too much map control for scarlet in game number one as she took so so many bases and in the end he was she was able to overrun spirit so Let's have a look what's going to happen here. It looks like the same build order for Scarlet. Best expansion into gas with spawning pool. Spirit once again. Also going for the same uh, build order for him. Also fast expansion into barracks with double gas. Should be a double gas at home. No, it's actually only one gas for him. So we might see some other investment. No, actually he's going for a double gas as well. So yeah, let's have a look. The scouts are out. The scout is also prepared here for spirit so pretty much the same build order just like in game number one let's have a look if there's anything going to be different here from spirit maybe he's going to add more harassment those marines with the medivacs actually dealt some great great damage even though it was a small group of marines in the medivac they have dealt good damage so i believe he might try to transition into more bio versus the zerg and it could be very very deadly yeah marines with medivax might be the answer here for the terran versus the zerg or are we going to be seeing perhaps some mech mass mech mass tanks with other mech units tanks with tours would be very interesting to see some battle cruisers would also be very very nice to see here for the terran versus scarlet and at the same time scarlet pretty much the same build order at the two mid and 20 second more she has taken another expansion and the queen is also getting produced here for her was queens early on very very strong into defending versus the terran so yeah the first reaper is out once again pretty much exposed to expansion here for spirit as he's just laying here with his reaper waiting for some zerglings from scarlet but no such thing yet as some queens are also getting produced for the defenses 
Yeah, let's have a look how a spirit is going to react. He's going for a faster second expansion, I believe, here. As he's also very likely going to be preparing his macro game. We have a 1-1-1 one, one, one build order, one barracks into one factory and one starport. And let's see if he's going to try to be more aggressive. Once again, his expansion is pretty much exposed. There are three Zerglings just pouring forward, but I believe they won't be able to deal any damage. Yeah, just a little bit of damage into those SCVs, but no real economic damage as the Zerglings have been taken out. So only one Reaper for Spirit is enough to defend. More and more creep is getting spread out. And let's have a look if Scarlet is going to be taking her expansion, other expansion very soon. As she's moving out with her queens. And when exactly is she going for a tier 2? She's actually going into more and more of those earlings. We see once again Banshee upgrade with one Banshee. So I believe Spirit is once again going to try to harass the Zerg as much as he can. Let's see how that works out for him. As the queens should of course be able to hold this expansion. We're closing towards the 5 minute mark. Still of course no major harassment. No major engagement yet. Both players are pretty much exp um, preparing their macro game. This base should uplift very soon into this location. Some Hellions have been added. Let's see if this is going to be a better move out for uh, Spirit. As some Zerling is going to be taken out for Scarlet. So yeah, Scarlet might prepare her creep highway towards the other expansion point. Still producing more and more of those creep eggs on the ground, still droning up more and adding more queens. At the same time, Spirit having so so many Hellions, he's expecting an attack, but he's not moving out with his Hellions, so it looks like he's just pretty much expecting a mass Zergling attack by Skull. This is why he's also preparing a wall off here into this location, even though the Chambers engineering base here just for those um, uh, marine upgrades. But yeah, no major move out by him. He's playing very very safe, expecting that attack, but nothing is coming out from Scarlet yet. Just those queens spreading the eggs on the ground, and we have another expansion here for Spirit as the worker count. Pretty much the same for both players. And now finally he's moving out a little bit with the Hellions. Yeah, just to check what exactly is happening. We see the double one-one upgrades for the Marines. Bench is once again moving out, so Spirit with pretty much the same tactic, just like in game number one, double attack with Hellions and Hel uh, Bench is on the other part, heading straight towards this expansion point, luring, trying to lure of course the Queens onto one location, but the real damage dealers will of course once again beat the Benches, there is a spore here, so nice reaction by Scarlet, still three drones have been killed, perhaps four Benches would have been better for the uh, Spirit. As he has so much economy damage once again, just like in Game of One, this time six, even seven drones have been killed. So perhaps double starport would be an interesting strategy for a Terran versus the Zerg, as we can see how deadly the benches can be in the air. Aliens not really doing any damage quite now. And yet, yet another, and even almost another worker has been killed. So eight workers have been killed here as he's moving out with his Hellions to snipe the eggs. On the ground and yeah more and more damage is being taken here actually by Scarlet. So yeah interesting enough the benches did their job very very nicely. Eight kills for the Terran. The wall of is nicely being done here. We don't see any siege tanks actually we do see some siege tanks here so let's have a look what's going to happen as the Terran might prepare a move out here versus a very defensive game here by Scarlet. Still no major units, still no, I don't see any Hydras, I actually see massive amounts of um, Zerglings this time for her. And some Hydras are also getting produced, maybe she's going to transition into some Lurkers. Let's have a look what's going to happen. Two tanks for Spirit as he's moving out, repairing those Banshees in the air. Scarlet preparing a counter-attack with the Zerglings, maybe she's going to transition into some Banings very soon. Could be a possibility as the Terran is moving out. Snapping more and more of the creep, so a more aggressive move out here by the Terran. Uh, just now, like in game number one. And let's see how Scarlet is going to react to that. She's perhaps going to prepare a flank from the bank with the Zerglings, as the Hydrisk have also joined the army here. 
massive amounts of hydros just like in game one but the siege continues here with helbets with marines on the front two tanks for her one is a little bit exposed one even into a medibag slowly but still he's moving forward so this expansion might get snapped very very soon skull needs to be careful she's trying a counter attack here with the surgeons into the expansion point but there's so so much terror here into this location getting back by those tanks in the back and yeah many many helbats in the front so scholar pretty much hopeless here but yeah the soldiers have dealt a little bit of damage but the real marine action is going to happen here get a turn with so so many marines tanks being backed up by tanks in the back and the helbats also in the front so yeah scans go out many many eggs have been snapped and now let's have a look what's going to happen with still marines in the front so so much damage is being taken here by scholar the tanks are also getting some good connections in the front zone and lots and lots of splash damage both players are taking quite some damage both players still at the same army amount but yeah the siege continues here for the terran as he's moving forward with his marines the three tanks in the back are pretty much untouched here so split with a nice nice micro as once again the base from skull is very well here and gets sniped here so let's have a look so so many hydros on the we got here for Skull, but she's taking quite some damage. The reinforcements are exactly on time here for Spirit as he's moving forward with his Marines and sniping yet another expansion here. So, great, great, great game by Spirit. Much, much better game for him than game number one. Very, very nicely done here with the Marines. And remember, the tanks in the back are, of course, the real damage dealers. The real backup here for Spirit. So, nice, nice job by him as he is able to snipe another expansion in a, at the same time. Skull tries to counter attack. With the Zerglings here, and let's see if she's going to be successful with those Zerglings as she's moving forward. Let's see what's going to happen. It's just a small group of Zerglings, so uh, Spirit should be able to take care of that. In the meantime, Scarlet losing more and more of her bases. Mass Hydros for her. Is it going to work out? She has to snap somehow those tanks. Tanks are, of course, the important unit to attack. Finally, one tank is going to get snapped here, but the other tanks are pretty much still alive as they're being able to deal with splash damage. And yeah, nice cutting back and forward here by Skull, but she's still taking more and more damage. As yes, period this time with a much, much better game. Even the Banshees have joined once again the attack at the same time. We see another attack here with a pretty much exposed base. This time Spirit very smartly attacking the hatchery as he's able to move out now with the stimmed Marines. And yeah, much, much better game here for Spirit. More control, more, more killing unit after unit and expansion after expansion so much much harder game here for uh, Scarlet as she tried of course to counter attack and so many moves on the low HP here so they will be taken out Spiny Scarlet getting some good connections she's going to try of course to snap the tanks here too have been snapped even the third one will fall so good job here by her and she finally is able to take out the marines yeah but in the end Spirit has enabled here another another expansion into this point so let's see Scarlet has of course to rebuild her hatcheries and let's have a look at the army count more of an army supply here for the Terran more for a SCV account here versus him so much much better game here of course by Spirit as he's now preparing a medivac drop versus Scarlet very soon and yes Scarlet a much much more defensive gameplay here by her no good connections yet by those investors the medivac is moving out here for spirit very soon is going to attack this location it's pretty much exposed a long distance mining scarlet versus spirit as she's also going for borrow so let's have a look at another base here for the turn much much more calculated and better game here for spirit as yes yeah, scarlet tries to rebuild the hatcheries as much as he can and as fast as he can but now we even have Liberator. So we saw how important four tanks are for the Terran versus the Zerg as the tanks have been nicely guarded and protected by the infantry from the Terran. And just a small group of Marines here. They will be very likely taken out hard, but they do take out any faster here as well. At the same time, we see another attack here with the Medivac. Maxed out Terran, I believe, is going to very likely throw everything he has towards towards Scarlet as some drones once again have been killed with a drop I believe it was and then in comes the attack by the Aaron some liberators he are in the air thanks once again the, the important tanks here for the spirit as he's moving more and more forward so the tanks once again of course will be of course the main 
damage dealer here versus Scarlet as they're moving forward. A great fungal this time, nice EMP, however, great response here as the Terran just keeps on moving forward once again to the newly established base from Scarlet. Yeah, the siege continues here, and the tanks in the back are pretty much untouched, so quite, quite great job here by Spirit, leaving those tanks sieged up, giving cover towards the infantry. And yet another expansion has been taken out here, but at the same time, we see an attack here into the main, a nice drop, but she's ready to respond to that with those high risk on the ground. But here, of course, the real damage dealers will, of course, be the tanks with the infantry as he's very likely going to move here into the next expansion point. So, yeah, much, much better game by Spirit Scarlet. More on the defense this time, still having a strong army, but. Yeah, those tanks are, of course, the real damage dealer versus so, so many high risk. So, yeah, let's have a look at a new transition into the 12 o'clock position. This time, so, so many tanks once again by Spirit. Much, much better army composition, if you ask me. And the tanks are pretty much all sieged up. High ground is there for Scarlet, but she's already taken a volley of the tanks from Spirit. So, yeah, nice micro spreading those ruins. Scarlet pretty much has to clump up all her hydras. And there's even a bird here so yeah let's have a look a flying bird on the ground so let's have a look what's going to happen a small group of marines are in the front and the tanks are in the back scully tries to counter with some bailings but they're not that fast now all of the bailings are rolling forward leaving massive amounts of splash damage but not that many good connections the tanks are nicely getting spreaded here by spirit and Spirit taking, of course, this game. Scarlet realizing that Spirit just had way, way too much and a much, much better game here by him. So great, great stuff here by Spirit with those tanks in the back and the Marines in the front. Much, much better game, more aggressive gameplay here by him. Let's just go straight into the last game. Game number three, it is... Uh, on ASL site Delta... We're about to find out what is going to happen here into the last game. I believe it's a two spawning location map. Yeah, much, much better gameplay here by Spirit. More and more tanks have been added. And I believe the benches in the early game have also done a great job with eight kills against the drones. So yeah, we're about to find out what this Scarlet is going to be doing. Still mass hydras with infestors, with fungus. This is the new meta by the Zerg versus the Terran. Or our Zerlings with Bailings, the answer for the Terran's fast-moving Zerlings. Let's have a look what's going to happen here into the last game. Spirit in the upper left part as the blue Terran and his opponent in the lower right as the red Zerg. It is Scarlet from Canada. Yeah, we're about to find out what's going to happen here on Site Delta as pretty much looks like pretty much the same build over here for Scarlet versus her opponent. And the same can be said here for uh, the Terranus is also going for a fast expansion. So this could be, of course, punished by Scarlet, but she doesn't know what exactly the build order is. She might could have done a fast spawning pool and head straight towards the expansion point. It would have been very, very deadly, but of course, you never know what the Terran is up to. Perhaps she's going to study the replays afterwards. And yeah, we're about to see what's going to happen here. Same build order, gas into spawning pool. And same build over here for the Terran. Mm, straight best expansion for him and double gas into barracks. So I believe we're going to be seeing pretty much the same stuff. Is it going to be perhaps a transition by Scarlet into more Zerglings with Bainings? As the Hydros didn't really work out well, especially against those tanks. They're so hard to control, of course. They're so much clumped up together and... Yeah, of course they have range attack and they can attack air but yeah, in the end against tanks and against marines not that really of a good decision i believe zerglings with bailings much much better against the infantry from the terran and even against those tanks and of course a much cheaper unit to have the zerglings well let's have a look what's going to happen here on to game number three in between the two pros yeah still no harassment the first Zerglings are getting produced here for Scarlet as she's moving out, I believe, once again into the expansion point here, into this location. Yeah, let's have a look. The overalls also nicely getting spreaded, getting good vision. Should be a factory for the Terran. As, yeah, more and more 
You need more, more drones are getting produced here for uh, Scarlet. We see actually one army supply versus eight army supplies. So Scarlet could already deal some damage here versus her opponent. But still she is deciding not to move out. So both players pretty much playing with the same builder, especially the Terrans. So it's fast expansion once again. Should be followed up by a starport very soon by him. And also fast expansion here for Scarlet, so three bases versus soon to be three bases as well here from the turn. Double Hellions, no starport yet. Oh, actually, there no. It's actually a barracks, so a difference here for a Spirit. Not going into a starport, he's going into a barracks. So we're going to be seeing mass mass Marines, and yet another barracks here for him. So it's a triple barracks factory into triple barracks. We're about to find out what exactly is going to happen here. If it's going to work out here for the Terran versus Skull, Skull is going to be taken pretty much by surprise. As we're going to be seeing mass marines perhaps working, walking on the ground for Spirit. Let's have a look if Skull is going to be ready for that. As she's just preparing her macro game, just spreading once again more and more of those creep eggs on the ground. And yeah, it's going to be mass marines for the Terran still. Only there is the starboard, of course. Some medivacs are pretty much needed versus this. As yeah, more and more marines will be added very very soon by spirit. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff. What who is going to be the one attacking first? A very defensive gameplay here for spirit. Same will be set here by Scarlet as she's also just spreading the eggs, just spreading the creep. And yeah, finally we have a small move out here with just two Hellions and a Hellbat. So a reaper on the ground. Yeah, just testing the water, just trying to see what exactly is happening. But of course, pretty much the same here for the Zerg as she's just spreading the creep. And now I believe the Terran is going to very likely secure the other expansion point very soon. And yeah, let's see who is going to be the one doing the first step, who is going to be the one attacking first. I believe it's going to be the Terran very, very likely. <laughs> The first two Medivex are getting introduced here for the Terran, so he might go into harassment. Notice that there are no benches this time here for the Terran, so it's pretty much just mass pile very soon. He's going to try an attack. Are we going to be seeing some tanks? Yes, indeed, we do see some tanks. So it looks like it's going to be a timing push by the Terran versus Scarlet. Scarlet this time with some Zerglings, and then we see the first Medivex getting prepared. Move out, we see yet another hatchery for tier 2. I don't see a headless then yet as the first spores also getting added here by Scarlet and the Medivex are moving forward, dropping the marines on the ground and yeah, just to snipe as more creep eggs as possible here. So yeah, just stopping the creep highway from Scarlet, just sniping egg after egg as he's moving forward with the marines, with the Hellions and of course Scarlet not reacting yet, she's expecting a drop into the expansion points but yeah spirit nicely just sniping the eggs one after the other really good job by him as slowly but steadily we're closing in towards the 10 minute mark and the, the other expansion point very likely going to get targeted very soon here by spirit yeah but scarlet this is the witcher queens witcher zerglings on the ground trying to, of course to defend the base the marines already taking quite some damage and now it's just queens versus the units but the queens are nicely healing themselves up at the same time, we do see a counter-attack here with some small group of Zerglings being able to take out four SCVs, so nice job by Scarlet. And at the same time, she's holding the important expansion here, even healing it up. So yeah, counter chill is a little we get finished. Carapace and attack here for Scarlet, as she's once again doing a counter-attack with many, many Zerglings here moving forward. And she is actually going to be able to deal so much damage against the economy here for the Spirit. So Spirit taken very very much off guard, what a mistake here by him, leaving this one expansion exposed. I believe he pretty much is going to commit straight with all of his units here towards an attack. But his economy is in shambles, he has taken out 14 SCVs that can kill much, just moving forward, just dealing so much damage. This could be a base trade scenario, and yeah, the Queens will also get quite some damage. Five wounds have been killed here as well, the Hatcher is taking some, some damage, but still is getting left alive and the Zerglings get a good salon but at the same time the Marines dealing more and more damage. Scarlet does hold, she is taking some damage 
but she does hold, so that's very important for her after she dealt quite some damage against the SCVs from the Marines. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's going to happen next here as the tank is dealing some good damage here against so many Zerglings. All of a sudden, these mass Zerglings, no, no Hydras get inside for Scarlet, just mass Zerglings with Banings. Yeah, she's still producing 26 SC uh, Zerglings here, so pretty nice stuff this time she decides not to go for those hydras just heading straight for zorgans with paintings but yeah the damage the economic damage has been done here for spirit as he still tries to continue with his siege but there's only one siege tank available for him and it's pretty much getting surrounded here as Zerg the zorgans are pretty much just rolling here for the paintings at the same time also getting some great connections so scarlet very much in control of this game Punishing here Spirit, especially is punishing him for keeping this one base unprotected and finally Spirit reacts but a little bit slowly with this one bunker as once again the Zerlings are rolling forward. There should be some Marines here, no, it's actually no Marines, it's a fake bunker and once again the same scenario we have here. The Zerlings are getting some connections here against the SCVs on the ground and another Zerling group is prepared to attack forward and Spirit has to stay back, he has to defend against an oncoming swarm by the Zerlings, more and more Zerlings are getting put here forward by Scarlet, they were closing in towards the 10 minute mark, this time a much much better game here for Scarlet, a great defense and also a very important harassment by her even rolling forward with the Banings, killing the supply depots and a huge amount of Zerlings with Banings are moving forward for her as she's now clearly like going to attack the expansion point once again but there are Marines in the bunker, there is a tank, there is a small counter-attack here being prepared by Spirit as he should be able to take out this base or he's heading straight towards the main base, this could be a possibility here for Spirit he is steaming up after burning actually those medivacs but at the same time we see now the attack here from Scarlet killing 50-60 workers but at the same time we do have a counter-attack here for uh, Spirit with a great position for him just being guarded here actually by the Zurich buildings and he should be able to take even out building after building after the, the, in the basic stats he's getting killed here one queen has fallen so great counter attack here by spirit being able to take out important buildings from Scarlet and the Scarlet has to bring back her main force and getting a good surround but yeah, in the end the harassment is pretty much going to end here as Scarlet taking out this base even the supply depot is going to explode there and yeah another expansion point has finished so it tries once again to drop the units but the zones are here ready to respond and yeah spirit needs to regroup perhaps with other units so so many zerlings so so many banings on the ground here for uh, scarlet as she's also having an infested she, she might fungal the units in the air and one medivac could explode so nice job here by Scarlet as Spirit still tries to regroup with his units, he still has a strong army but there's so so many Bailings at the ground as well so let's have a look if, if, if the Bailings will get some connections here as you now actually a great spot here for Spirit, a very nice strategic move by him as he's able to guard all of those Marines all of a sudden a change of turns here as Spirit is being able to take out so so many of those zones and he might even take out this expansion here if he's not getting fungled try to spread those marines with the, the banes look like they were getting some good connections some fungal could connect now with the medivacs in the air as scarlet has to bring back her defenses into this location now we're going to be seeing a drop from spirit we're about to find out is once again going for a good position for those marines pretty smart move by him and yeah scarlet also moving out here with her units and to try of course to kill a medivac or two maybe she could land some good fungus one is also dealing one queen actually spirit deciding to move here back so interesting choice here by him perhaps a misclick needs to be very very careful as he's now moving out with the medivacs but the spore is also dealing damage so he needs to be very very careful At the same time eight drones have been killed the reinforcements are pulling forward here for spirit so with a good regroup, he even has some liberators in the air. He still has a chance to win this game against the mass of Zerlings. Here comes the drop and a good position here for the liberators, dealing more and more damage. 
as well as are pulling forward Baines as well trying to get some good connections a good spread here by Spirit a nice micro but in the end it's just so much so again great fungal once again the Medivac might explode and Spirit is actually giving up so in the end Skull is going to be able to take this game 2-1 to one. quite an interesting series we had here from Katowice 2024 Scarlet winning it 2-1 to one. in the end she pretty much transitioned into mass Zerglings with Bainings no more hide risk for her and yeah nice nice job by her harassing the mineral line from a spirit taking out so so many SCVs and yeah giving her so much control so yeah very interesting series I'm going to post more replays from Katowice 2024 thank you guys so much for watching this is Tommy signing out